You got to read the first couple of paragraphs. It's all you need to know about Goodell. It's this story that Goodell clearly told Peter King that he was working at a bar as like a college student. And there was this black guy who came in. There was racial tension. And all of a sudden, like Goodell was the bartender. He's like, this has to stop right now. And he like, had a gun and everyone's like, oh, okay, everything's cool now. Roger is here. Never verified. Total bullshit. The, uh, I, have a, I have a question about the Goodell thing. First of all, congratulations. Thank you. Secondly, are you in any way concerned? Let's play it out. Let's say Goodell is a super nice guy. You go down to the basement, you watch the game, and like he's so nice that you have to become almost friends with him. Is that? Do you lose something if that happens? Uh, you, so we're playing this out in your bizarro world that, that it happens this way. Do we lose something? Yeah, I guess you do lose something to a degree. The ongoing fight, and, you know, the outsider perspective. I think you gain something. I do think there is an element, you know, to be allowed into media day and things like that. I still think we'd make it interesting. But sure, you lose, um, you, you lose. I, you know, I don't exactly know what you'd lose, but you you lose the opportunity for, I guess, instant, instant uh, incidents in the future, like what happened to me at the Super Bowl. You know, that's never going to happen again. Um, and who knows? Like, if you told me before the Super Bowl that I was going to get dragged out of the Super Bowl in handcuffs, I would have looked at you like you had 10 heads. I'd be like, what are you talking about? No right. chance. So it's hard to predict with that guy what we'd lose. But I'm sure it would be something. I mean, Barcelona's not going anywhere. I know that. They're, right. Well, they're certainly not going anywhere. So as long as they don't, as long as he's in power and he hates us, there's for sure going to be conflict down the road. And there's going to be situations like this where a, a raffle comes out of the blue. So we would lose something, but I'm not 100% sure what it would be. But these ongoing clashes would get phased out for sure. Do you think, but uh, do you even think that this scenario I laid out is in any way, po- like what, what if, if I said, I don't. You, what's going to happen? There's no way you, so there's no way. I don't, I don't think there's any way that, that he's going to let me in. I haven't heard oh, it. I can't, I, 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 heard I, any- I can't imagine. I, I think you, you're probably right, but he would, we've always done this and he always looks bad, but this would look given where the money is going. This would look particularly bad. No, correct. But he, you know, they'll replace the money. So the way the thing works, I actually had higher bids already placed. It, it basically, they're $50 increments, and it doesn't let you go above, essentially, the $50 below you. So I think it was like 250000 So there was a, a bid $50 lower than what I was, so that person would get it. Right. And, I mean, the NFL has so much money, so I'm sure for charity they'd replace it. I, I don't think it's going to happen. I mean... I keep going back to the Super Bowl incident. If you're gonna, you know, if you're gonna kick me out of that when I when I was doing nothing, like I mean, it, it, I was just sitting there watching the game. If they didn't do anything, nobody would have been like, "Oh my God, he's at the game." I mean, I paid for a ticket. I was sitting there, and they dragged me out in handcuffs. If they're going, and then they tried to kick me out of the Patriots Super Bowl party again. So if they're gonna do things like that, how are they ever gonna let me into his basement? And I've said it. They, they'll have to give me an address, right? And I'm going to walk down, I'll walk down the street with a high school marching band. I mean, it, <laughs> you know, I just don't see any way they're going to allow this to happen. And he, from everything I know about this guy, and from everybody who's ever talked to him, who knows him, they say that he really doesn't have an ounce of the humility or playing along that we're talking about. You know, he just is not in his DNA. So... I don't see it happening. I know, we've talked, we talk about this all the time. Every time I see, we, we talk about the Super Bowl the last couple of years. There has to be people around him who have, who are a, somewhere in that orbit in the NFL offices, who are Barstool fans, who are at the very worst, at least understand the value of embracing us, that he could at least try that. But maybe he's so removed from that. Maybe he really is like in such a bunker that he doesn't even want to have those conversations. Yeah, I mean, you hear the stories about him. Like he orders pizza, yeah, pizza and nobody's right. allowed. Right. Yeah, I mean, I, I think there's an element of truth. Um, there's no other way to explain it because even kicking me out of like media day where you have people dressed as like trash cans and everything, like why would he kick us out of that? Like we're not, you know, we're not there doing anything, anything unusual. For media day, we're on the tame side of what's going on. 
but they still, you know, find, find a way to pick us out and kick us out. So I don't know. There's nothing that has happened with us in the NFL and him specifically that would make me think he's going to play along here. I, he hasn't shown, has he, I don't even know that he's acknowledged we exist yet. No, I don't think he has. I tried, I tried to talk to him that time when he was, remember a couple of years ago in Atlanta or whatever yep. it was? He wouldn't say anything. I just te- So I just texted you uh, right now the SI cover story of Goodell from like 10 years ago. Peter King wrote it. You got to read the first couple of paragraphs. It's all you need to know about Goodell. It's this story that Goodell clearly told Peter King that he was working at a bar as like a college student and there was this black guy who came in. There was racial tension and all of a sudden like Goodell was the bartender. He's like, this has to stop right now. And he, like, he like, had a gun and everyone's like, oh, okay, everything's cool now. Roger is here. Never verified, total bullshit. He wants everyone to think he's like this fucking sheriff tough guy. It's we. It's this bizarre persona that I don't really. I, I mean, did you, did you see where I started? I, I I heard some grumbling from across the internet uh, last night that I decided I would do a little investigation in. But it essentially, I he he also I think likes people to think he was a star football player. Correct. So, he, he, one of those tricky knee injuries, right? Yeah, yes. so I started doing a little digging on my own. Oh, and I mean, wow. every single place you go, it's it's the same quote verbatim. Three-star athlete, uh, captain of the football team, thought, didn't play, couldn't play in college because of injuries. So I, I started looking for the injuries. I tried to, you know, that's, that must be a severe injury he suffered to curtail his career. I, the only thing I found was one guy in 2006 when he was elected commissioner who covered him in high school. And the article basically said, if you mention the name Goodell in this town, he was in like one of the wealthiest towns in uh, Westchester yeah, around his there. Was, like, his dad was a, was a senator. senator. Right? Yeah. Yeah. So a, a white yuppie, small school conference. And the article said, if you mention the name Goodell, nobody's going to think of Roger because his brother was a far superior athlete. Roger hustled. But he's just a little guy. His best attribute was hustle. That does not sound like a college football player to are me. You gonna put his, that sounds are, like. Are you gonna put his feet to the fire, face to face with these tough questions? Well, I, you know, I wrote an article and I said the, the beauty of him there is he could bring his hospital records and that's we could true. clarify this entire thing. That's true. that's true. And I'd exonerate him because I don't want these rumors that, that are starting to spread like wildfire. There sure. was an account BSS one two three four yeah, five that, six. You do you do not you disavow that account for the record, right? You do not. I that's why I did the research. Thank you. Good job.